Hey guys, this is Indium here. Welcome to be back to another episode of Let's Play Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Blue Rescue Team. Okay, so in the last episode, we got to the 10th floor of the North Wind Field, which is the final dungeon in the quest to get the Clear Wing imbued to its fullest potential, which will then take us to the uh, Mount Faraway dungeon, which was where we could find Ho. -Oh. Alright, so let's progress on further into this dungeon then, shall we? Alright, um, so far it's going a bit... Uh, so far, things are getting pretty rough, um, especially with these Dell caddies, because these things are a pain in the ass. Well, we got a Poliwag on our team that's level 50, and it's the highest level Pokemon on our team. So hopefully he'll be a good asset to our team to get us through the dungeon in one piece. But I also have to remember that I don't have many Reviver Seeds in my inventory either, because I consumed a lot of those at the beginning of the dungeon. So what we have now is what we're st stuck with throughout the rest of the dungeon, unless we come across, luckily, uh, um, so happen to come across Reviver Seeds. Uh, I don't know what the Zinc does, actually. I'll have to check. What, what does Zinc do? Info. A drink that boosts the Pokemon's def special defense. It also slightly fills the Pokemon's belly. Well, that would be handy for Tyler, so I'm going to give that to him so he can use that. Because he's the one who needs all the defense that he can get at the moment. Because, um. Well, let's just say that his defense isn't the best. Not, not as good as what you would think it would be, at, like, because he is a fully evolved Venusaur, you know? But he still does take a fair beating from other Pokemon. So yeah, we are going to go through with the plan of trying to get through the dungeon as fast as we can. Most of the Pokemon in this dungeon consist of water types and ice types, so Pikachu or Raichu should uh, thrive in this dungeon uh, very easily. Well, there's a lot of Del Catties in here. And now I've just been put to sleep. That's freaking marvellous. Not exactly what I wanted, but can't wake up, dude. Right, we're just gonna use Thunderbolt to get rid of them too. I got 625 experience from that. That's decent. I also want to try and get a little bit of EXP as I go through the dungeon as well, so what, so whatever Pokemon I come across I will try and kill it, because uh, we need as much EXP as we could possibly get, because, um, well, we're pretty under, let's just say we're pretty underleveled for this stage of the game, we should be at least about level 50 by this time, or maybe even level 60, <laughs> so I'm getting through this um, just based by luck, really. I mean, I even struggled against the fight against, I think it was Entei or Raikou? No, I think it was Entei that I died at. Raikou was pretty easy, I managed to beat him without a problem. Okay, why is there so many sealed traps and, no, why is there so many traps in general in this one space, in this one, like, tiny confined room? It's like, just so much traps. Oh, well, I guess the uh, room could be a little bit more claustrophobic, I guess, to make it even more annoying. <laughs> yeah, this dungeon isn't as big as what I remember it being, because I, I thought the, the floors on this dungeon were a lot more spacious. Well, Venusaur should fl thrive in this dungeon too, but when we get to the later floors where we start fighting Politoads, that's where things are going to get a little bit, like, really rough, because Politoads know a move that can one-hit KO you, and it's really easy for them to do that, like, it doesn't happen, it doesn't work all the time, but it does work most of the time. And if it works most of the time, it will work most of the time. <laughs> Go on, dude, attack. Okay, I don't want to talk to you, I just want you to attack. There you go. Oh, that's a deli bird.
the hell was that you just threw at me? I don't know, but I ain't stepping on that confusion pad. Yeah, confusion pads are probably the worst, because when you step on a confusion pad, you always end up re-stepping on it, which which uh, resets the confusion. And it's based on random how long the confusion lasts for. And it's like that in the original Pokemon games as well. Could really do with an orange berry right now. I don't even know if I have an orange berry, which I don't, unfortunately. Yeah, in the future, I think I'm going to come to dungeons more prepared with items such as orange berries and things, because, like, if I have orange berries, it will compensate for me not having to die and then wasting reviver seeds so quickly so like the the main items you should really bring to a dungeon is revive the seeds apples orange berries and max elixirs of course so you have to like mix it up a bit uh peach berries and raspberries cherry berries like those berries they're not really essentials because they're just there to cure status problems and most of the time you can just ride status problems out anyway, so it's, you know, it's not a necessary thing to bring along with you. And some Pokemon aren't even affected by those status ailments, so, you know, it's just like, no point really. Was anyone close to leveling up, by the way? Like, when was the last time we gained a level here? Let's have a look at our stats. Well, Tyler's pretty close. Alright, what's this? Facade. No, there's no point in picking that up. Um, blast Seed. Wow, why are we still getting Blast Seeds in dungeons like this? What the hell? We shouldn't be getting Blast Seeds in this dungeon. We should be getting something with a little bit more oomph. Something that will give us a lot more health back. How much cash do we have? Yeah, we're gonna have to deposit some of that money into the bank. What I was thinking of doing, I think I even mentioned this before in one of my previous episodes, but what I'm gonna do at some point in the future is use wonder mail codes to generate gold ribbons and what i'll do is i'll generate a whole load of gold ribbons to use uh so that i can sell them and then get a load of money from them because you get two thousand poke dollars for each gold ribbon you sell now that's a lot of money <laughs> Okay, I'm just going to leave you there to stay confused because I'm not hanging around here for you to unconfuse yourself. Well, never mind, you just did it on, just on time. Hm. God, look at all these traps. This is what I'm talking about, guys. Like, you go into a dungeon like this, there are just traps everywhere. And it's going to be like that for every other dungeon throughout the whole, throughout the rest of the game, really. Like, every main dungeon we have to do anyway. So, yeah, we're just going to have to get used to it, unfortunately. Well, we're almost at, uh, at Suicune now. And once Suicune's defeated, we'll be off to our first major dungeon of the game. That consists of 50 floors, so we're going to have to divide that up somehow. Probably into three episodes, maybe. I think three would do it. Yeah, I think this Let's Play, like, 
every for every episode um all the way to the end i think it's going to be like 150 maybe well, not 150 maybe 100 and uh God, look at all these traps. We're getting the worst traps here. Like, I bet everything has all gone to crap. Yeah, everything has all gone to crap, almost. Uh, there's one huge apple that's still managing to survive. Dude, how many traps do you need? In one room. This is what makes this game so difficult. It's just the traps. Yeah, that's the move that can one-hit KO you. And it's a bullshit move. It really is. So, Politoed, get out of here. Yeah, we're getting into the hard part of the dungeon now, but it's the last amount of floors, so... We should get through this in one piece, hopefully. And you don't want your partners to die either, because your partners are more vulnerable than what you are. And when your partners die, they also can consume your reviver seeds. And you want to try and keep as many reviver seeds as you possibly can towards the, towards the boss. Which is Suicune, and Venusaur grew to level 40. That's good. At some point, I think a grinding session is in order, because I'm going to have to get some serious levels. Uh, at some point, before, well, possibly after we, like, I don't know how well we're going to do in the next dungeon. To be honest, at the level that we're at now, but I don't even know if I want to take my chances with it, because Ho Ho is quite a powerful legendary, and I don't know what level he is when you fight him. I think he's like level 40, 50, maybe. And we're level 40, so... And, and it is a legendary. And it's going to be a lot more powerful than what we are, so I might have to do some grinding. At, at some point. But... I think we might be able to scrape through it if we bring the right items with us. If we bring the right items with us, we should be okay. I'm going to have to use a max elixir here to get some PP back. You know, I completely forgotten that you can get war turtles in this dungeon. Because you don't get squirtles in here, you get war turtles though. And you don't get blast oysters either. Because in um, the fiery field you got charmanders, but in this one you don't get charmanders, you don't get uh, squirtles. I think Mount Far Away is also an ice dungeon as well. It's an ice based. Wow, 1080 for killing a freaking Absol? What? Okay, I did not know that. That is a lot of EXP. Damn, dude. You grind the shit out of this floor. Like, like, I'm not even kidding. You can get, like, serious levels up here. If you just took your time with it. But. Hmm. <clears throat> Damn, I didn't know they gave a hundred and... Well, a thousand... One thousand and eight... Eighty. Okay, his defense scarf just became... Ugh, sticky. Ugh. There's a lot of junk in my inventory that I'm going to have to get rid of. Or oh, water stones. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to pick one of them up because... There might be a water type that I'll get at some point uh, to actually join my team permanently. So I'm going to pick up one of them. 
I'll even eat the quick seed that I have just to get another one. And I'll eat another apple. Yeah, cool. Alright, so we've got a few water stones as well. I still can't believe they give a thousand eighty for every absol that you kill. Right, where is the staircase? I need to find it ASAP. It's probably around here somewhere actually. And I found it. Uh, I'll get rid of this wall total for you, Venusaur, don't you worry. Here, get out of here. Oh, we dropped a water stone, but I'm not going to pick it up. <laughs> so here we go, this is it, Northwind Field, fighting Suicune, the last of the three legendary dogs. Why are you here? I am here to destroy you! Oh, Dukin! <laughs> Clear embracing air, crystalline pure water. Do you stand guard over this beautiful and untamed land, untainted land? That is why I am here. I am Suicune, one who runs with the north wind. Intruders foul the air with, the, uh, with their outside ills. There is but one solution for invaders, expulsion by force. Here I come. Here I come, rougher than the rest of them, tougher than best of them, whatever the hell Knuckles' theme is. <laughs> Alright, hang on a second guys. Yeah, I just made a save just in case I die. Alright, um... Okay, I didn't want Venusaur to go up front, but okay. <laughs> Whatever. No, I didn't want to do that. Oh my god, what's going on here? Thunder. There we go. Paralyzed. I should be almost dead. Hopefully. There he goes. 1026. Wow, Absols give more EXP than what freaking... What? That's insane. Absols give more EXP than what fighting Suicune does? No, that's not even right. That's, that's not even logical. Goo! I have lost. I admit it. You are strong. Here is the wing. This is the sunset wing. I see. You came seeking the Mirage Pokemon. Step back. Okay, I sounded like I was constipated there for a second. All these constipated sounds are just making me look bad. The sunset wing transformed into the rainbow wing. Wow, it's so pretty. <clears throat> Glittering in the seven colors of the rainbow, this wing is beautiful beyond description. This rainbow wing it is the key to meeting the Mirage Pokemon. Take this wing. Take it to the mountain so high that its peak is obscured by clouds. Yes, take it to Mount Far Away. The Mirage Pokemon is at its peak. Which is, of course, Ho Ho. Um, so now we got the Rainbow Ring, and we've gained access to Mount Far Away, which is uh, going to be our next epic long journey <laughs> uh, through to get fight another legendary, which we will end up recruiting because it's a 99% recruit rate, so you know you can't fail to catch it. And, uh,. I don't know if I'm going to do that first, I might just go back to those other dungeons and get the legendary dogs to join my team, but I'll do that all in like a montage video. So, it'll be like a mini video of me battling each legendary dog to recruit it. But that'll all happen next time. So anyway guys, until then, this is NDM saying thanks for watching, take care everybody, see you in the next video, and goodbye.